Hey everybody, it's Emily with Wellness for Generations and we are on for our weekly live interview and today we are interviewing Heather Chapman, Heather Lee Chapman, who is a health a professional success coach and she is live, lives in Canada in Toronto um, and she is helping people to achieve their dreams and live a happy, fulfilled and um, successful life. So we're going to wait until she jumps on here and we will get the interview started. Let me see if I can invite her real quick. Because Facebook wasn't doing what I wanted it to, of course. got her invited and while I'm doing waiting for her I'll go ahead and share this to our private community group if you are not in our community group we um, have some different things um, that we it's always a good time hey, you're on welcome Heather and how are you doing today hello hello I'm excellent. Thank you, Emily. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Today was a very productive and um, good day. It was just very productive. I, I was, it was great. <laughs> so thanks. <laughs> All right. So we'll go ahead and dive right into the interview. And thank you for taking the time to chat with us tonight. So can you um, tell us a little bit about um, who you are, what you do, kind of just a brief overview? I would be happy to. So um, as Emily said, my name is Heather Lee Chapman and I'm a holistic life coach. And I have been spending over a decade um, studying what holistic health is. Um, I started off with a degree in human kinetics with a minor in bio and psych and really just understanding um, the human body and conditioning and uh, human potential and performance, um, which I absolutely loved. But when I graduated, there was still like a big chunk missing on nutrition. Um, so I have a degree in applied nutrition from uh, the Institute of Holistic Nutrition. So where I studied holistic nutrition. And this was incredible because it, I had taken some nutrition in university, but this was just the ins and outs of how the body worked and being able to look at symptoms and fix the root cause instead of treating symptoms be able to look at the symptoms and treat the root cause um, and I actually originally partly did it for my clients but also for myself because I was looking for help and my doctor wasn't able to help me told me I was the healthiest person he was going to see all day and I felt like crap so and I knew that wasn't um, like my previous experience of living so I knew that there was another way and so I went searching and I found uh, Institute of Listing Nutrition fall in love, studied there. It was actually incredible. Honestly, I swear it saved my life. Um, and then after that, I really, um, I realized there was still a key thing missing um, from helping my clients achieve their goals. And it really was the mindset key. Um, so it's one thing to have all this knowledge and it's another thing to hold yourself accountable and put it into action. Um, and I really wanted more info on that. Um, to help my clients be successful. So uh, almost two years now, uh, two years in November, late November, I'll be studying with the Procter & Gallagher Institute um, with one of the top coaches, Danielle Amos, who's my coach. Uh, and so anyone who knows Bob Proctor, he is a human potential and performance uh, coach and business coach, and he's actually incredible. He has spent over um, 56 years, just turned 85. Uh, and still teaches seminars all over the world. And this man is incredible. And he's been studying, you know, universal laws, um, how we've been conditioned and how to help people actually achieve their goals and get out of their own way. And so through his programs, I've learned so much more about the mind, but also the soul. And so now I'm really dis uh, discovering and studying the spiritual aspect through um, studying theta healing. Um, so now that's really mind, body, and soul. Um, and so that's who I am. And that's how I see people now. Um, 
the thing is, I don't believe you can treat it individually. It really needs to be treated as a whole. So, you know, you can do your nutrition and your movement and that's your body. Your mind is your, your daily work and working on your, how you think and how you act and your beliefs. And then the soul, um, you know, making sure our chakras are aligned um, and that we are spiritually fulfilling um, what, you know, makes us unique in this life. So right. that's really who I am and what I do. Cool. Thanks for sharing. So um, growing up, what, what was your experience like growing up? Was health in something that you learned about? Um, what was your experience? Um, so I actually have been an athlete since I could walk. <laughs> um, I swam before the age of two. I started figure skating at the age of two. And basketball, soccer, loved it all. Uh, track and field. And um, it was, I think... I was about 12 and I guess from over um, overworking myself through figure skating for so long, um, I had some imbalances and I had to go and see a physiotherapist. And that was super cool to me. You know, I went from having like an excruciating pain where she was like, do these exercises. Let me tape your knee. Oh, poof, you're better. And that's when I picked up soccer and I just thought, wow, this is really cool. Like um, I could have kept skating, you know, if I had, you know, known all that stuff. And then, um, I, I had some health issues uh, since I was young. And when I was about 12, um, my parents actually uh, paid to have me to be a part of a study at UFT. And um, they studied um, behavior in relation uh, to food and uh, bedwetting and bladder control issues. So I had um, been seeing a bladder specialist since I was born. I've actually almost died at birth. Uh, so um, this is so exciting. I swallowed my fecal matter. Woo! <laughs> um, and, <laughs> that's a, a big win for me. Um, but anyways, it caused like obviously a bacterial upset in my body right. and we couldn't figure it out. And so they basically put me on a no sugar, no dairy diet. So for three months, my parents tracked my bowel movements, my bladder movements, uh, my behavior, and everything I ate and everything I drank. And they sent it in and they came back and said I couldn't have um, dairy or sugar. So at 12 years old, I went on a no dairy, no sugar diet. And I literally was unrecognizable from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. And that's when I learned how much food could impact your life. Because I looked like Kirby's Dreamland. If anyone ever played the Game Boy Kirby, like... <laughs> Like, just so swollen. <laughs> Seriously, the pictures are great. And then I went to having, like, a chiseled abs by the end of the year. Um, and it was that I was just so swollen. I was so inflamed and so swollen. And think of the cognitive uh, delays and things like that and the mood and the behavior. Um, and so what I know now is that it was an anti-candida diet. And so it killed off all the bad bacteria, which allowed my gut to heal. Um, and so my mom, uh, it wasn't something we originally were really into, but as we grew up, she really got into the spiritual aspect, the mindset mm -hmm. aspect, um, and how much nutrition played an important role for us. So from there and going forward for herself and stuff, like, um, health then really became a major key. And, um, for my life now, my mom and my grandmother have been giving me clippings from articles and books and email me this and that and what have you. So I have health tips and tricks coming left, right and center at me now. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's really cool. Not a lot of people. I don't think a lot of people have that experience where their parents had, I think now in this generation that's happening, but as far as like the previous generation, that's something that was, you just kind of dealt with issues or whatever. You didn't really, there weren't a lot of options. Like now we have a lot more resources to find, find solutions. Um, so that's, yeah, I'm very blessed. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's super awesome. So yeah. tell us a little bit more about what you do in your business with HLC coaching. Um, so I originally started um, as a kinesiologist and doing injury rehab and exercise therapy. Um, and then I really got a lot into the nutrition and helping people um, specifically with gut healing and adrenal fatigue. 
Um, so adrenal fatigue is basically like burnout, the disease of the 21st century. We right. are all overstimulated, right? So a uh, huge components, gut health um, and adrenal fatigue. And then I suffered some concussions. So I really started working uh, with brain and spinal cord injuries uh, for the last four years and really diving into uh, nutrition for brain injuries, um, cognitive therapy for brain injuries, but now also really incorporating the mindset key. So um, HLC Health Coaching is a holistic life coaching. It is looking and treating your body as a whole. So I help people with meal plans. Um, I help them with specific supplementation. I help them with um, injury rehab, so neuro uh, neuroanatomy training. So uh, it's called Z Health training. So training your visual, vestibular, and uh, neuro and muscular systems. Um, so joint mobility, eye exercises, physical exercises, stretching, all of these things, um, and then also now incorporating the mindset key. So setting goals, mm -hmm. um, creating affirmations around that getting rid of limiting beliefs that no longer serve us, and then really uh, getting diving into the meditation and so that we can strengthen our will muscle and really get connected to source so that we can get aligned um, internally, externally, and everything can go smoothly. So I just really help people reach their goals, whatever that is. And for some people, it might be more nutrition. For some people, it might be more meditation. For some people, it might be more physical therapy. For some people, aren't open to the whole thing. So I help them to my best of the, my abilities on what they need and they desire and meet everybody where they're at. Awesome. Super exciting. Um, so you see people both locally and do you do distance work as well? Yes. Yeah, so I'm actually just uh, HLC Health. Uh, dot com is launched. It is a we will be uh, taking it a little bit more into business and mindset focused training um, online for that. So I'll be doing some um, paid mastermind uh, private groups for that. Um, but uh, I do a lo local, but taking that a lot more online so that it can help individuals wherever they are, create them an exercise program, a nutrition program, a goal setting program, affirmations, mindset work. Um, so yes, I do both in person and online. Awesome. Um, and what do you have like a bigger purpose or a mission? Like what's your mission um, personally or business wise? Um, personally and business wise is to help as many people as possible, like live their passion, their purpose and live on purpose so that they actually like love their life. They own their life. They've created their life um, and they're not running on this old programming and this old conditioning, but actually creating a life that they want. Yeah, that's my mission. Okay. That's awesome. And I think that people don't realize that they can do that. It, it really starts in our thoughts. And I have told you recently in the mastermind um, that I've been reading the decisions and the 333 story from Bob, from the Proctor, it, yeah, Proctor and Gallagher Institute. And um, it's been so helpful, like just really thinking through that. And like every single day we get to make the decision of what we're doing. Um, and we can either make it go forward in the way we want or see where we're at or backpedal like but that's all up to us like nobody else um so that's awesome i love what you're doing um what do you feel makes you unique as a coach yep um my enthusiasm and my energy um i have always been told like i am a bundle of energy so i think i, I am very passionate person i'm a very passionate person um i think it comes through in my work and my excitement um but most uniquely i have trained my mind to be very positive um, and I do get a lot of that feedback that I leave all my clients feeling really good, no matter what, uh, because of the energy that I bring into our sessions, whether we're doing physical nutrition or mindset training. Um, and, uh, yeah, I would have to say that that's probably like, it, it's me. It's that extra little, um, bundle of energy and inspiration and, uh, positive energy that I just really try to hone in to make sure I leave everybody feeling better than how I found them. Yes. I love that. That's awesome. And what are you working on and excited about right now? So I'm so <laughs> excited. <laughs> Emily knows. Um, so I just co-authored in two books. 
Um, one of them is called Fitness to Freedom, which I'm so excited about because I've been wanting to tell my health story for so long um, to share with people so that people know like the way that they're living doesn't have to be that way um, because I could very well still be that blimp. Um, still very well be unhealthy, lethargic, fatigued, cognitive fatigue, like, and not have been as successful as I have been. Um, mm -hmm. that, that could have been me, but right. I've been very blessed to have that. So I wanted, to, I'm finally the courage. I put it in a book, uh, Fitness to Freedom. I am a co-author in that. Um, and I just, I share a lot of my symptoms in it so that um, other people can read it and go, oh, I have that symptom. Oh, I have that symptom. Right. Oh, snap. That's not normal. Just because it's common doesn't mean it's normal. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then I'm co-authoring in a second book, and it's called Dear Love. And this book is, like, dear to my heart because um, I've always been writing, uh, just never publicly. Um, and it really comes from my heart. So I actually share uh, my grandparents' love story. They have a super cool love story. They came here as refugees. Um, and through that, it's really about the story of loving yourself so that you can find a partner, that you right. can live, like, the best together, but yet the best individually. So that really comes, uh, that true love and finding that true love and having a happy relationship really truly comes from our self-love mm -hmm. and our self-image and really working on that self-image. So uh, self-image, guys, we are the one thing standing in our way and it's our self-image. So I know that that's so important. So I'm really excited about these. Uh, they'll both be launched in September. Um, Pre-sales are just starting. So this has been a huge passion of mine to always be an author and it's finally here. So a published author and yes. uh, with Golden Brick Road <laughs> Publishing. So Awesome. Yeah. Yes, I can't wait. I'm, I'm so excited to get both books and read. Um, so our two like final questions um, is the first one is what do you feel is that kind of one thing people can start doing even today um, to start moving that needle in their house towards um, towards living their best life? Um, pick one goal, one goal or one habit uh, to change. So if your goal is to you know be healthier. Um, you know, be this certain weight, be in this certain shape, feel this certain way, uh, pick one thing that you can change right now. And that one thing can be different for everybody. But sharing that one thing with one other person who's going to hold you accountable. So it's changing that one habit at a time, because literally, it's the little mundane things that we do over time. It's the compound effect that makes the big change. It's not right. just like, oh, I went to the gym today and I'm ripped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like walking for 15 minutes every day. The mm -hmm. little things that add up over time. And so it's, and for everybody, it's going to be different. Um, so for myself, I recovered from a back injury. It was moving 10 minutes, three times a day. For somebody else, it could be, you don't drink enough water. It has a large, such an impact on your body. Um, looking at how much water you're supposed to be having. Women is average 2.7 women or men is average 3.7 liters. So really making sure that water is getting in, uh, taken in and then like, take it a step farther. So one thing you're, you have your goal. You're going to pick the habit, one habit to change to help you achieve that. You're going to pick someone to hold you accountable. And now you're going to hold yourself accountable by putting it in your calendar. Yes. It doesn't exist if it's not in there for me. So I, I think that's so key. So uh, 30 to 60 minutes of movement every day is in my calendar. Um, and so if that's anything that somebody can do, one thing right now, 30 to 60 minutes of movement every day, put it in your calendar, set an alarm, put it in there just like you had to go to work. Um, right. And if you can't get out of the house, put on music and have a dance party. Like whatever, yes. just get moving. <laughs> Those are super fun. Especially when you have a toddler. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, whatever, a child. John is four. <laughs> He's not really a toddler. <laughs> um, what is one thing that you hope um, either for yourself or, or anyone uh, just to continue passing down to the generations? What do you think in this generation we should be passing down to the next generation um, in regards to wellness and, and really 
giving that back to them. Treating the body as a whole. I think that has been one of the biggest missing keys. Mm -hmm. um, we don't even know how powerful we are. We don't even know how powerful our mind is. And there are tons of people out there who have healed uh, so many injuries just simply through holistic practitioners um, and from like literally through their mind. Mm -hmm. They've healed spinal injuries. Like these are mind blowing things that seem so unreal to us, but they are happening. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, I just know that that mind, like as a whole, right. is so important. Uh, but the mind, it's the mind, it's the power of the mind, and connecting to our actual power that we have within us. Mm -hmm. We have enough power, I think. It's like break all our bones in our body but we stop ourselves right so why can't we heal ourselves mm -hmm. yeah so it, it's the power of the mind and physical intelligence that can actually help heal us so yeah that's awesome theta uh, healing which i'm studying that's what yes <laughs> yeah i can't wait to hear more about that as you continue doing that um it's very fascinating to me and where can people find you? We'll make sure to put all of your, um, the links to your different places in the comments below. Um, but go ahead and tell people where they can find you. So you can find me on hlchealth.com and um, Facebook. Uh, my business page, page is Heather Lee. And you can also find me on Instagram, Heather underscore Lee underscore Chapman. And that's an E with two E's. And I am on Pinterest. I am on Twitter. I am on LinkedIn. Um, but I am most active on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and if you're really interested, um, connect with me on Facebook. I have a private group where um, I have tons of articles and resources put up that basically is like everything that I want to know uh, is on there. So yeah, Optimal Human Performance Mastermind um, is my private group. So uh, yeah, that's where you can find yes, me. And I love all of the prompts you've been putting up there. It's very helpful um, just thinking thank through you. things. So, well, thank you so much for uh, joining me tonight for this interview. And I wish you a great rest of your evening and a very productive week since it is Monday. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, I'm so excited for Wellness for Generations because it is going to be a game changer and a mover for our holistic healthcare and for the future of everyone to have easy access so that, you know, the right practitioners can find the right clients and the right clients mm -hmm. can find the right practitioners. Um, and, you know, we can close that gap so that everyone can get the healing and that they need and let just live optimally and um, live happily and live fulfilled. So thank you for thank doing you. what you do. Thank you. I really enjoy it. All right. Well, see you next time. Thanks, Emily. Bye guys. Welcome. Bye everyone. Bye.